Hi, I'm Louise Brakey from Brakey & Co. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about ways you can keep your rental properties occupied. So once you've decided to rent your property out, it's important to keep it occupied at all times, if at all possible. If you don't, your mortgage, your council tax and any other bills are going to be coming straight out of your back pocket. So here's a few tips to ensure that you avoid any empty property periods. With a few tricks, great relationships and some handy tips, you can make sure that your property is always making you a great profit yield. Here's what I would suggest. First of all, I would say always try and use long term contracts. Try to avoid the six month contract where you can. Having people come in and go out more regularly can be quite disruptive and one year contracts works, works much better for both landlord and the tenants. Having said that, I would always suggest for a new tenant, give them a six month tenancy initially just to see if they're happy with the property and also if you're happy to keep them. Once the contract is up, think about asking your tenants whether they'd be interested in signing another contract. You don't really want to get into a rolling contract if possible as it gives you less peace of mind knowing that any time they could just up and leave. Next, I would say move fast. So once you know your current tenants are planning on moving out, try and visit your property as soon as physically possible to find out if anything needs fixing or replacing. Get quotes for any new furniture or appliances and book contractors to carry out any work needed as soon as you can. The best time to do up your property and give it a quick lick of paint is during the first week after the tenants moved out. This means that the house will be available for viewings very quickly and hopefully resulting in a brand new tenant. The next thing I would say is that always, always look after your tenants. The easiest way to avoid an empty house is to look after your tenants as best you can. This may sound really obvious, but it's so easy just to ask tenants to sign a few contracts, hand over the keys and walk away. Building up a relationship with tenants and try and solve any problems that they may have as quickly as possible is going to be key. If your tenants do wish to move out, having a good relationship with them means you can ask them what was the actual reason behind their move. And if it's something that, that you could have changed, then you can perhaps see if, they, if you can change it and they may stay. If not, you can sort it out for the next tenants. And finally, I would say advertise it as soon as possible if you do find yourself with an empty house. Then good marketing and adverts can make a world of a difference when it comes to finding new tenants. Choosing a letting agency that's going to market it well and include a floor plan because tenants always want to know the layout of a property. And this is going to save you time because if they don't like the layout, then they're not going to ask you for a viewing. So we don't want you to turn up and it's wasting your time as well. Most agents will have a database full of clients waiting for the right house to rent. I know that we have at Breaky & Co, so every other agent must be the same. If you need help in finding a new tenant for your property or are considering what you can do to avoid any empty periods in the future, then give me a call. I'll be happy to help. Thank you. Thank you.